Now we're going to shift our focus to some standouts on defense. Oregon Ducks star Kayvon Thibodeau is one of the best players in America, and he certainly has the look of a potential top five pick in next spring's NFL draft. He won the Pac-12 Freshman Defensive Player of the Year two seasons ago, and he was again dominant in a shortened season in 2020. He was a five-star prospect at Oaks Christian School in California. KT is uh, you know, obviously a great athlete, uh, you know, and one of the leaders of our team. I think the best thing we can say about KT is, is you know, he's a hard worker, he's his work ethic, he wants to be the best at his position. I love football because it's been my outlet my whole life. You know, it's been my go-to, it's been my fun, it's been my, it's been my pleasure. Football has brought me a long way. It's opened doors that I've never, you know, been able to imagine, never been able to dream. Um, it's made me the happiest being on the field, getting ready for a game. You know, it's the most exciting moments I've ever been through. And I love it. I, I mean, it's the best, it's the best game on the face of the earth. Being a prize recruit was never one of my, one of my goals, it was never one of my things. One guy I did see growing up, you know, going through high school was Adore Jackson. You know, he was a great guy. He was a, a superstar at Sarah. He was a superstar at USC. But for me, I, I never really had the dream or the, the idea of being a, you know, a superstar. I was just playing because I loved it. Whether he was playing at Oaks Christian or competing at a showcase like the opening, Kayvon always had a target because he was arguably the top player in his class, but the pressure never bothered him. At this point, when you're on top, everybody wants you to fall. Everybody wants to see why you shouldn't be number one. And so it just puts more pressure on my back. But pressure is not really, pressure is on people who's unprepared. I came prepared, I worked all off, off season. I'm getting ready for my season and, and yeah, I'm, I'm ready. As a guy who loves the game with all his heart, it does my heart well to see a young man have a chance to be recognized nationally. He carries it all in stride and, and he doesn't act like he's the number one player in the country. He acts like he's a guy that still wants to get better, still wants to improve, and that's one of the reasons why I think he's just a great person, and I'm proud to be a part of his coaching staff. Derek Stingley is also one of the nation's best defenders. The cornerback helped LSU win a national title in his freshman season, and he's been named an All-American in each of his first two campaigns in Baton Rouge. He played his high school ball at the Dunham School in Louisiana, and he was the first cornerback to ever earn the number one overall recruiting ranking on Rivals.com. It was due in part to his speed, which was clocked at 4-3 in the 40-yard dash when he was a senior. Well, I guess it says a lot about makeup speed. If I get beat, I can catch back up pretty fast because it's a big component of being a DB because sometimes you just get beat. A potential breakout star on defense this season could be Georgia's Nolan Smith. He broke into Georgia's starting lineup last season and figures to be a key figure for the Bulldogs this year. He was one of the highest rated players in the 2019 class, but he never paid much attention to his rankings. That's why I'm ready to go to college, because the five stars and five stars, four stars, three stars, all that cut out, because it's about who's going to get on the field. While the physical talents of the six foot three inch, 235 pound linebacker are impressive, Nolan says he likes to work his mind as hard as his body, and the way he studies the game sets him apart. By playing D-line, I'm really good with my hands and stuff like that, and I could understand stuff, and I could figure out how to work out stuff. So like when me and my coaches go, I mostly, me and my coaches draw up plays together. So I just sit there and walk and just draw up plays with him, and we figure out ways how we could beat them and break them down. For another potential breakout star, keep an eye on Chris Hinton, a defensive lineman at the University of Michigan. Chris comes from an athletic family. His mother, Maya, played basketball at Northwestern, and his father, Chris, had an outstanding 13-year NFL career that included seven Pro Bowl selections. Chris and his brother, Miles, who was entering his sophomore year at Stanford, played at Greater Atlanta Christian in Georgia. Chris has always been an intimidating presence on the line, even as a young player. Chris is pretty special, and so when he came here in the eighth grade, he did not look like an eighth grader. The thing that stood out really quickly Obviously a, a really big, strong, powerful athlete, but how athletic he was and still is. Chris and his brother both figure to see increased playing time at their respective schools, and their parents are excited for what's to come. Well, the journey, this is, I'm looking forward to it. It's um, a time for him to really make a step forward in, in both of them, I mean, to make a lot of improvement from last year to this year and really start to understand the game of football. Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.